Hey everyone. Whether you're relatively new to using Goose or you've been using it for weeks or months, you have dozens of successful sessions where you got help with things like writing blog posts, code reviews, documentation, data analysis. Let's show you how to check those sessions for repeat work and build recipes out of them. Each session you start with Goose will create a session file which is full of JSON data of your conversation with Goose, both your requests and the responses from your LLM. For me, I had tons of these session files. I'm sitting on a gold mine of potential automation, but wasn't doing anything with it. That's when a coworker made a brilliant suggestion. What if Goose could analyze your sessions and build recipes automatically? Well, that question sparked what I'm calling the cookbook generator. So what exactly is a cookbook generator? Well, we're going to get Goose to build us a big recipe, which is going to go build other recipes after analyzing our Goose session files. It's automation that creates automation. It's meta programming at its finest. On a recent live stream, which I'll link in the description, I spent about an hour in a vibe prompting session with Goose to refine the idea. I have other content about vibe prompting that you can check below as well. The short version is that having some extra conversation with AI to refine your idea before you start any sort of vibe coding will usually get you way more success the first time and use less tokens which makes the process faster and less expensive. So here's how the cookbook generator works. First, it locates your session history and finds all of your Goose session files. Next, the recipe will start to analyze these sessions to try to identify which sessions were successful versus incomplete or maybe abandoned. Finally, it detects patterns by grouping similar requests and workflows together. From there, Goose can generate a series of recipes with parameters and even sub-recipe structures based on the patterns it finds. The reason I call this a cookbook generator is because now I have a whole series of recipes I can use, plus notes on how to use them. But why go through all the bother to make a recipe out of this at a high level? I could have just used sub-agents to go scan through all these files, classify everything there, and then have the main thread correlate everything at the end. Well, I wanted to make a recipe out of this because I continue to use Goose, even with these new recipes, and I wanted to scan my sessions every month or so to see if any of these recipes need refining, or if new patterns in my work can be detected to build even more recipes. Each time I run my cookbook generator, it'll keep track of the last time it ran, and only look at newer sessions so it would be even faster on subsequent runs. During my conversation with Goose, I asked it to ask me clarifying questions before building anything, and Goose asked really smart questions. Where are the session files stored? What format are they in? How should we identify common workflows versus one-off tasks? Should we generate specific recipes or more general patterns? How should we handle sensitive information like file paths or API keys and so on? You get the idea. By answering these questions up front, we created a comprehensive specification before Goose did anything with recipes or code. The generator that Goose made for me has some really smart features, which I continue to refine after the live stream. For session analysis, it reads through the session files and analyzes overall outcome success, user request patterns, tool usage sequence, and common parameter types. For intelligent filtering, not every session should become a recipe. The generator is interactive, so Goose will ask me if there's any kinds of work it should skip, like things I knew that were one-off projects versus the repeat work that I know I do all the time. The generator can then focus on workflows that appear multiple times and ask for my confirmation on borderline cases. Since a lot of my work is similar, like creating a list of ideas for videos or blog posts or writing an outline of structured bullet points for those videos or blog posts, Using parameters was going to minimize making multiple recipes that had a lot of commonality. To consider what kinds of parameters to use, Goose automatically identified good candidates like file paths, document types, URLs, and project names. Then it used proper templating with parameter validation, conditional logic, and even sub-recipe integration. As an example, I get Goose to make image samples for my blog post thumbnails and videos. Sometimes I want to use DALI, sometimes I want to use Gemini or GPT. 
Goose made this into a sub recipe for me where I can specify a parameter of which provider to use and then send along a description of what I'm looking to make. Now the first time the generator ran, it was way too general and it overanalyzed what it considered common work. I got really high level recipes for write documentation or write some code, but I needed it to be way more specific than that. So I spent some time refining the idea with Goose after the live stream to be more specific about the kinds of work I do in my role so it could try again. I updated the recipe with some additional guidelines and then Goose was off to do its work. One thing I had Goose do specifically was build me a little readme file on how to use each recipe that needed parameters so I had a little bit of a guide on the kinds of input I'd need to give to Goose. This cookbook generator represents a new level of AI-assisted productivity. Instead of manually identifying automation opportunities, AI identifies them for you. It's like having a productivity consultant that analyzes your work patterns, suggests recipes to automate things that it sees you doing over and over. The generator also handles all the tedious parts of recipe creation, like proper YAML syntax, parameter definitions, template logic, and even extension requirements. You get professional quality recipes without needing to build the recipes yourself. Now as a quick side note here, I had Goose actually clone its repo of source code to better understand itself how to build recipes for itself. Even more meta, I know, but that way it knew exactly what to build. I have a blog post out as well, which I've linked below, where I detail more of the process and also give you a copy of the final cookbook generator that Goose made for me. Now, my workflows will be different than yours, so running my cookbook generator may produce some interesting results if you try it on your sessions, but I wanted to share it with all of you so you could get inspired to go build your own. Your workflows are unique to mine, but the process of identifying and automating them can certainly be shared. As AI agents become more sophisticated, we'll see more tools that create tools, automation that builds automation, and metaprogramming approaches that take our human productivity to whole new levels. So let's take it to that next level. Instead of just using Goose to execute tasks, let's use Goose to learn from those interactions to help build these tools for us to make us even more productive. Check out the blog post and see what you come up with for your own cookbook generator and stop doing the same work over and over. Your future self will thank you for the automation you create today.